Y'all, I'm saying it. Don't clock me for being underneath this plant the whole entire video. Just don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> so I wanted to get you something very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. For your birthday. For my birthday. Since I got a ring on your finger, I hope you like it. I do, baby. I love it. <clears throat> Wait, I'm gonna have to get on my Oh, knees. you're getting on your knees? I'm gonna have to get on my knee, baby. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in a totally different environment right now. I am in my living room on my couch with a glass of wine in my hand. And that's because I decided that I'm gonna do a life update and I thought that this you know space right here is a little bit more comfortable for me and comfortable for you and it can seem like you know we're talking girl to girl just you know girl talk and uh, yeah so let me know if you guys like this setup and I'll definitely film more videos right here and this plant is just right by my face girl Rebecca calm down <laughs> she's growing though she's growing so anyways, I have my glass of red wine just to unwind while I talk to you guys about my life, everything that's been happening. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Shanice, girl, where have you been? You're barely posting, you're so inconsistent, your main channel is dead, all of that, and my main channel ain't dead, first of all. But I know I'm, I haven't been as consistent as I should be, I really want to be. Anyways, I want to just jump right into this life update. Okay, so the first life update, many of you guys already know, and that is I got engaged on July 19th to my fiancé, my now fiancé, Brian, and we are actually in a long-distance relationship. We've been in one for about three and a half years, or it's probably more now, over three and a half years, and he lives in Texas, and I live in Toronto, Canada, so you know different countries and all of that so that's kind of been really hard um to do that back and forth but i'm super excited that we are now engaged and obviously going to get married and we're going to finally live in one spot so that's super exciting um he actually flew out to toronto and proposed to me he had this whole setup and everything it was really really cute if you guys want to see that i will link it down below um, I have a video on you know what happened and what went down y'all can even go subscribe to our couple channel We have one of those as well. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for this new chapter But with that I have so much other things that are going on. So now that we are engaged We got to start planning a wedding We got to start figuring out how I'm going to get my ass down here because the process isn't easy I can't just pick up and leave Toronto and just say I'm moving here because that's against the law I have to do things by the law which means um, I either have to apply for adjustment of status after we get married or um, I have to do like the K-1 visa if y'all watch 90 Day Fiance you know what I'm talking about so there's all these different steps that you have to take all this paperwork legal work gotta have all this information like your birth certificate you have to have proof that you're in a relationship um, you have to like fill out all these forms and have like a big pamphlet of why you guys are together and proof and pictures videos um letters all of this bs to prove that we're in a relationship and that i can you know actually move out here and it's not like i'm not doing it for fraud so that's really really stressful but for me that's something that i want to get on asap because the process takes really long like you can it can take up to a year or more to finally get approved and all that and then once you are approved and you're doing adjustment of status or whatnot you have to stay in the country for like six seven months before you can travel which is something that I don't know if I could do because for me I travel for work I want to go visit my family there's so much that goes into it so I have to really um, figure out what is the best option for me we have to go see a um immigration lawyer to really help with that process i know there's the b o b one two v i don't know something like some visa some certain visa for like extraordinary um, abilities i know aisha haran did it with her husband and um she said it was like the hardest thing she ever done in her entire life so far and ugh, it's just giving me anxiety so anyways that process engagement moving over here to the United States and then obviously next is wedding planning or I don't know one or the other before the other I don't know so wedding planning that's something that we have to get done like really really quick um, 
because we both don't want to be engaged for long we want it to be a year or less so we're shooting for um end of june to mid july and those are like the only options that we actually have because um brian only has a certain period of time off during work he usually works like the entire year and um which is normal duh but like he doesn't really get days off so he'll work seven days a week when the season's happening there's like no way that it can happen so he usually has um sometimes the end of december and to mid january off and then he'll have the end of june to mid july off so those are like our only two options and I feel like if we wait till next December or next January, that's just way too long. We want to get things moving because we both do want to start a family soon, 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 soon. Yeah, we just want to get the ball rolling because, you know, it's been a long time coming and um, we're ready to move in together, we're ready to start our lives. And I really just have to get used to being in Austin and away from my family. And with that being said, it's just a lot because now I'm thinking about being away from my family and my friends i have nobody here like nobody in austin texas at all like i know people in houston i have like pretty good friends there which i can actually you know talk to and things like that but in austin i don't know anybody so i feel like i'm gonna be by myself and it's gonna be a whole new learning curve for me honestly so <sighs> It's so stressful just thinking about everything and I have like really bad anxiety and if I think about all of this stuff it's so it's so unproductive for me it messes with my body because I actually have physical effects of anxiety that come and present itself in a physical manner so oh my gosh see even just thinking about talking about it thinking about it now it's a lot for me it's a lot so yeah, right now I actually downloaded the app The Knot to really help me out. I've been looking at venues, we gotta figure out a budget, how much people we're gonna bring. I have about 30 people on my list. Um, we're gonna be very like anal about who's coming and blah blah blah, no plus ones, this is not the third because we're not trying to have a big wedding, we don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, and honestly, I have never desired to plan a wedding. And I've always wanted somebody to do it for me, but I don't want to pay nobody to do it for me either. So <laughs> this is very overwhelming for me and it's a lot. It is definitely a lot, but I'm super excited for the actual day, right? And speaking of that, we don't exactly know what we're going to do. We might actually get married, like legally, um, depending on what works for you know my status of you know coming over here to the stage we might get married first and then have our wedding later or you just might do everything at once so it really all depends but if i do get married early on y'all probably won't even know honestly you won't know until the actual wedding <laughs> so i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i'm missing when it comes to that oh well so we are in a new apartment right here um, Brian actually got this apartment pretty much for the both of us. Obviously, I'm not on the lease or anything like that because I don't, I'm not a resident here and I can't live here legally. So he got this three bedroom place and it's really coming into our own now. So we bought this new beautiful gray couch. I love it so much. And so right now we're just kind of furnishing the place and things like that. But honestly, we don't plan to stay here for long. We hope, 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 hope that next year um, depending how, on how things are, we can hopefully buy a house here in Texas, but we're not really sure. Maybe a year and a half or so, but he really is tired of renting. He's been renting, what, since he was 18 years old, and he's just like, I am done. I am done. I am done. I am done. And honestly, I don't like renting either. Like, I don't like renting at all. But this place is really, really nice. I love it. It's so homey and... If I had a house, it'd be similar to how this place is. Like, it's just so beautiful to me. Speaking of Brian, he was just freaking throwing rocks over here. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was him. He told me he was coming home at like 5 p.m. And it's way earlier than that. So he tricked me. And yeah, he just ruined my flow. But um, I think there's a few more things that I want to talk to you guys about. So... Um, the next thing is I bought a house, your girl bought a house in Toronto. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, you just got engaged, like why did you buy a house? So the house was bought before I got engaged and 
Um, for me, it's a long-term investment property. So, of course, when I move down here, I'm still going to be paying half the mortgage and whatnot. But in Toronto, the prices for houses are steep. It costs a lot of money. And I thought I would get in where I fit in and then hopefully, you know, peripherally down the line, the um, house goes up in equity and, you know, I went off of that. I'm walking in the house and she goes in video. Hey, Hi. I have something for you. You? Yeah. Hey, jewelers. Yeah. What is that? Hey. Hey, jewelers. Hey. So I wanted to get you something very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. For your birthday. For my birthday. Since I got a ring on your finger, I hope you like it. I do, baby. I love it. <clears throat> Wait, oh, you getting on your knees? I'm gonna have to get on my knee, baby. Anyways, yeah, I don't remember exactly what I was saying. So I think I was saying that houses in Toronto are super expensive, so you kind of get in where you fit in. And a lot of y'all know if you watch my like um, my older chit chat, get ready with me. I've been talking about buying a house in Toronto with my family, and that was the plan like a few years ago. Like it was supposed to be a house for me, my sister my two sisters and my mom but um you know time went on and we still didn't buy a house and prices were only going higher and higher and higher and then now my sister is almost 30 years old so she was at the point where she's like i cannot buy a house and still live with my mom and you know i totally agree with her i get it like things change so she kind of looked into this program where um it was they were building new condo houses so it's a condo house like a condo townhouse it's not a, a full fully detached house just want to put that in there and um she put herself on the list she did all the research and whatnot and she was one of the first people to get her foot in the door for that because you kind of have to sign up and it's like first come first serve type of thing so she did that and um the houses are honestly so damn expensive for what you get it's just so crazy so i just want to throw an example so we went to go tour the houses. I think this was in March or something. I think this was in March. We went to go tour the different layouts that they had. And the one bedroom was almost $400,000. It was tiny. It was the tiniest thing that I've seen. And I can't believe it was worth that much. I was like, who is buying this? But um, lo and behold, people actually bought it. And I was just like, wow. So anyways, the layout that we bought is a two bedroom, two and a half a bath. Um, so each room does have their own bathroom, um, which is good. So if we ever want to rent it out in the future, we can do that because both bedrooms have a bathroom and it would be definitely good for tenants or whatnot. Um, but right now my sister is going to be living in it. Um, I have my own bedroom there, um, but I probably i am not going to be there much. So honestly, the goal was to buy a house with the family. Like that would have been an ultimate like that would have been the best you know thing ever but it didn't work out that way which is okay my mom is just like kind of like you know she's she let us go and at first she was just like at first i feel like she felt away at first um i feel like she was disappointed but at the end of the day like we gotta do what's good for us we gotta also live our own lives and you know kind of just separate from the nest so in order for us to really help her we have to help ourselves first so that's the way we kind of looked at it and i totally agree and hopefully in the near future like i can i pray that i can buy a house for my mom one day i really want to do something like nice for her because she is the main woman in my life and i love her so much so um yeah just buying a house that whole process it happened pretty swiftly um it seemed like it happened really fast. I remember coming back from Texas, going to Toronto. We looked at the houses. We put the, not a down payment, but like a deposit. And then the next, I think, week or the next month, we put another deposit. And then we put the down payment. And we're just going so, so fast. I'm like, damn, look at all this money coming out of my bank account. But right now, I feel like it's a really good decision for me. Um, and I was able to help out my sister as well. So that's also amazing like i feel like i you know i helped her in a way even though i'm not going to be living there so she's going to have 
you know, the space to herself and, you know, really create a home for herself. So I feel happy in that sense. And also that when I come to Toronto, I'm going to have somewhere to stay at if I want to film. Because I can't really film at my mom's house, to be honest. I can actually go to my house. To my house. My house. And I can film. So, um, yeah, it feels good to say that I actually have a home. I have property. And I don't want this to be, like, my last property. I want to own over here in Texas. I would love to, you know maybe rent out i don't know maybe property is like the next thing that i want to get into because it's very lucrative you can make a lot of money from it and it's something it's a next level from just um doing youtube you know that could be my my next goal to really invest in property and make some money off of it so yeah i'm probably gonna do a house tour but again this is not my dream home this is like a starter home and um for me, like a long-term investment property. So, um, being that it doesn't have all the bells and the whistles, and honestly, if you get all the bells and the whistles in Toronto, you're gonna pay over a million dollars, honestly. Because in Toronto, you can pay $800,000, a million dollars, and you can get carpet everywhere, you can get a pink bathtub, a blue bathtub, um, laminate flooring, laminate countertops you don't get the upgrades honestly so i think that's all i really wanted to tell you guys about um with the house just know that it was a pretty pretty penny it's a really nice space and i feel like after we do all the updates and all that we can turn it into something really really nice like i think our first renovation that we want to do is to get hardwood floors because almost the full the whole entire house is actually carpet except for in the bathrooms and in the kitchen so that's definitely our next step but we have fresh carpet right now so we're gonna wait till it gets a little bit dugga dugga and then we'll work on that and then um i think we want to change all the countertops because all the countertops are laminate which are just ugh. like we want to get some granite or some quartz or something like that so those are like our next two big renovations that we want to do so yeah that's another thing that has been super stressful um but it's kind of over now it's not all the way over but it's it's kind of over so yeah that's everything that i wanted to mention about our house super exciting and um yeah i cannot i cannot wait to own in texas one day because I know the house is just going to be probably almost everything that I want. Because Texas, you can get some nice, nice houses for a good price. Alright, so the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is traveling. So I do have a few trips coming up. Um, so September, I will be going to the Bahamas. In October, I will be going to Colombia. And I might be going to Mexico with a brand. Um... November for now I'm off but something might come up who knows because I'm always about to travel right and then in December and January I'm going to be going to Ghana Ivory Coast and Nigeria so a lot of traveling coming up I'm super excited for it and again that's also overwhelming because I have a lot of deadlines a lot of um, companies that have been reaching out to me to work with them and the deadlines are just like in between all of these trips so I have to get them done and I really have no filming space you know back at home in Toronto unless it's at my new house and then here so I have to really get my shit together and really work around that schedule so it's a lot of exciting things coming up if you guys have any suggestions on what to do in any of those places specifically Ghana and Nigeria please 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 leave your suggestions down below um, I would love to hear what we should do there so if you guys want to follow my adventures if you guys want to keep up with my wedding planning moving to um, Austin or moving to Texas um, getting married all of that stuff definitely subscribe to my vlog channel because that's where I will do like the in-depth thorough details about everything that's happening the updates with my house all of that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um hopefully you guys are realizing what the heck is going on in my life and um all the crazy stuff that is happening all the blessings i'm so grateful didn't i don't think i got to mention that i'm so grateful and i'm so blessed 
with everything that has been happening in my life. I feel like everything is happening at once, but at the same time, it's so beautiful. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, and I love you guys. So, see you in the next one.